Welcome to Tuesday's Bag, a podlet for answers to questions of women business owners. All right, we are here and I'm going to answer a few more questions. The first question is, I am an artist and I would like to work for myself, become exclusively freelance. Where do I start? So you start exactly where every other self-employed person starts. In the eyes of the IRS, if you are self-employed, you are essentially a business owner, right? So you have to operate your business or your self-employment just like any other business would. So that means you would start with the first three steps that are most important to starting a business, right? Uh, I.E. or E.G. being a freelancer. Number one, you're going to decide on the name of your business. In most cases, if you're um, in entertainment or you're creative, a lot of times we use our own name and that's absolutely fine. Or you can create another name for yourself. But what's important is you establish what that name is going to be. And then you go to step number two, which is to get your tax ID number. So step two is to apply online for your EIN. You're doing this so that you don't have to use your social security number when you're providing your information to get paid. OK, it also helps you set up your business bank accounts, which is step number three. So step number three is. Once you apply for your EIN, you go straight to the bank or you can use an online bank, uh, but it's better to have your first two bank accounts with a mainstream bank and you're going to open up a checking and a savings. Why checking? Obviously, because that's where you're going to have all your income come into and that's where you're going to pay the business expenses. And then you're going to have a savings account because while you're working and freelancing, you have to be saving. You have to start putting money aside to pay your taxes. Okay, so that's where you start. You start with determining what the name of your business is going to be, even if it's your name. Uh, then you get your tax ID number. Then you set up your two business bank accounts. And then from that point forward, you stop handling anything business related or freelance related out of your personal account, you're going to start doing all of that in your business account. So that's it. Very simple. One, two, three steps. Hope this was helpful. I'm Tuesday P. Brooks, the profitability advisor for your small business. My mission is for women founders to become more profitable and run their business better. If you have a question for me, place it in the comments below.